Hello and welcome. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how to crack the SHA-256 sum hash algorithms if we are given with the usernames and the password hashes. Okay, so we are going to use a vulnerable endpoint which will give us all of the information which we will use in the hashcat to crack the hashes. Okay, so we have a website snippets today's TV. So let's click on get started and we have it in our proxy. We can send this to repeater and we have the request right here. We can send the request and we have the data right here okay so the very first step is to just view the source or view the page source and from the page source we get to know that there is a vulnerable endpoint called management dump at which we can only send the post request so we can just go to bob proxy and we can change the request method or we can just send a normal request using the login functionality so let's turn the interceptor off and we can click on login and we can specify anything at the rate anything.htb we have the password 123456 now we can turn the proxy again we can log in and we can intercept the request let's send this to repeater and we know that there is a vulnerable endpoint called management dump at which we can only send a post request and we have the post body right here so let's try to send the post request and as we can see, we have missing arguments. So that means in the request body of the post request, we have some parameters which are called arguments by the web server. So we need to fuzz this parameter called email. So we are going to fuzz this parameter. So how can we fuzz this thing? So first of all, we can send this to a file. So copy to a file called post.request and let me show you my post.request. So let's do cat post dot request and we have the email parameter called fuzz so let's clear the terminal we can use first faster you fool we can use the request protocol and we can specify the raw request which is post dot request we can specify the request protocol which is http because by default it takes the https protocol next thing is we can specify the word list which is an opt sec list discovery and we have web content we have both parameter names assign this word list to a keyword called fuzz and then we are going to match all the status codes and finally we can filter the responses by specifying a regex which is missing arguments because every wrong parameter will return a value called missing argument so only if the parameter is right then we will not get the missing argument thing in the response body so let's copy this thing and let's paste this right here so i guess we are good to go and this is sending us the status code 419 so this means that the page is expired so we need to save the request to a new file so let's copy this again so copy to file so let's save it to post to dot request and we can just specify it right there so the file is post to dot request so this will do the work so from this fuzzing we will get to know that there is a word called download which is accepted by the web server so let me show you if i just type download here then the vulnerable api endpoint will return unknown table name right and this means we need to perform the value fuzzing in the same manner and if we perform the value fuzzing we know we get to know that there is a thing called users which will return all the username and password hashes okay and the hash algorithm used by the password is the sha256 sum so as we can see we have a long list of usernames and password hashes so now we are going to come to the main part of the video which is going to be the hashcat which we are going to use to crack the password hashes Let's navigate to the opt folder and we have hack the box extension do ls we have dump.hash so let me show you cat dump.hash and as you can see we have the username in the form of email and it is written in front of a password hash okay so right here i'm going to start a ftp web server so let's do python3 dash m to specify the library which is pyftpd library and we are going to specify the port on which ftp runs that is port 21 
So as we can see, we have a web server started. Now let's go to the host operating system to get this dump.hash file, which is containing all the usernames and the password hashes. So we are here now. We are in PowerShell and we can use the basic new object net dot web client class of PowerShell. And we are going to use the download file method to download the file, which takes two arguments. One is the source, another is the des destination. Source is going to be the dump dot hash, which is located at FTP colon 192. 168.146.128 that is the IP address of my Linux machine and we can have dump dot hash we need to download this file to a file called ext dot hash so as you can see the file is downloaded as the anonymous user is having the read and write access to the Linux OS we can also upload file using the upload file functionality but for that we will be needing to specify the write access to the anonymous user Okay, so apart from that, let's do ls. We are in the PowerShell. So first of all, we need to, we need to exit out of PowerShell. And after exiting out of PowerShell, we need to use hashcat. So let's clear the terminal and we can use hashcat.exe. We can specify usernames because in the hash file, we have username in front of each password hash. Now we have the hash file, which, which is ext.hash. We have the word list located at this location, which is the rawq.txt. We can specify the hash mode, which is 1400, which is used for cracking SHA-256 some hash algorithm passwords. And finally, we are going to specify the device ID, which is going to be one, which is my discrete graphic card. So let's enter. And as we can see, this program is starting. And in fraction of seconds, it's going to crack the password. And as we can see, we have the password called password123 and this password is corresponding to this hash. So let's go to Linux and see which or who are the users who are having this password called password123. Okay, so let's control C out of this. We can do cat dump dot hash pipe it to global regular expression print and the hash we just copied. So as you can see, we have four users who have this password called password123. So let's go to Chrome and we can just go to Jia at the rate snippet.htb, which is one of the users and the password is password123. So this will give access to the user. Okay, so this is a way of cracking passwords using the host operating systems discrete graphic card. All right, so as you can see, we have four users who are having the same password hash and this password hash is corresponding to the password one, two, three. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture. In this lecture, we have learned how to crack the passwords of SHA-256 sum hash algorithm using Hashcat on the host operating system. So that was all about this lecture. We will meet in the next lecture. Till then, have a wonderful day ahead and thank you.